What up, people? OJ bring another gameplay with the Catherine demo. And I'm going to just say it right now this is different way the demo plays. This is going to be a must buy for people who want to try something different. The game, it plays, well, I haven't played anything like it ever before. It's a puzzle type game mixed within an RPG or a dating type sim game and everything in it plays smoothly and basically you know the puzzles aren't that hard but I can see like on harder difficulties where it might be a little bit frustrating but basically you know if you're I want to say smart but if uh, you can take pressure really well like in tough situations this is going to be a game for you it, well hold up let me, let me see right here. This is this isn't a live commentary or anything. I wasn't gonna try to do a live, but I don't think you guys want to like hear want to hear me do a live on this because I really wasn't trying to wasn't talking because this game it makes you kind of concentrate. I couldn't see anybody doing a live com on this, especially on like hard mode because it's gonna take a lot of your concentration when you're playing this. So no, I picked this up. I, I think it's gonna come out next Tuesday or so. Um, I was thinking about doing a let's play on it, but it's just like now that you guys want to see that, I don't think you know, I could try. But it, you're probably gonna hit me a lot of like frustrating stuff. And you see the controls right here. Nothing like out of the ordinary. It's just like basic stuff. The game, the game has a lot of good uh, dialogue and you no. Know, that's what you expect from a lot of good animes and it plays it plays just like like I said, it plays just like a really good anime. I thought it was a part of the game, but this is just like the developers like opening monologue. It just it plays like a fucking movie. I was like I thought this was like one of his uh Benson's dreams, but I was fucking taken back that they would just go through all this trouble just to introduce himself as a gameplay franchise. We had a girl from the rings, I think that's Moses and Golden Playhouse. Yeah, that, that was kind of cool for the moment. <clears throat> okay, I think the gameplay is about to show right now. I think they just get you right into it. Mm -hmm. It was kind of weird seeing this dude come out of his boxers, but I think that's just how you sleep when he's he is a he's in a nightmare, and that's how you go to sleep. I don't know what the ram horns are for. I think it is, from what I can tell, it's like they're saying like marriage makes people sheep or whatever, and he doesn't want he doesn't want to be a sheep. He's trying to like avoid becoming a sheep as much as possible, and or maybe that's not the right thing. So you know, I just gotta get more into the story mode when uh, the game comes out. As you can see with the gameplay, it, it I think right now they're telling me a little bit of something. Uh, no, I'm not really, really taking this shit, shit too serious right now because I was watching one person's gameplay and I forgot who it was. And oh my god, this dude was playing like such a fucking idiot. It was just like basic stuff like why did you move that shit right there? It was it was on the easy shit. It, this is the easy puzzle. The first one is the easy one. The second one coming up later on. That was a a fucking bitch to play, but this one right here, this is fucking cake mode. And I don't know why I was just like, I guess I was just wanted to read the text or whatever. But when you first download the game, you're gonna see that this gameplay is just like mad. The first puzzle is gonna be like a cakewalk, but when you get to that second one, oh boy, I hope you got a glass of Gatorade, some juice, or a snack because it it's gonna be fucking. Not, I won't say difficult, but. If you're not used to like these puzzle type games, it's gonna fucking wear you out. Yeah, it, I'm fucking cruise through this one real quick. Okay, once you like get an idea of how the, how the gameplay works, you, you're just gonna like breeze through all this stuff, and nothing, sorry, nothing's gonna be like stupidly hard. And it, I guess the only thing that people might not want to pick the game up for is the fact that it's a. I bet it's a single player game and 
I guess if you beat the story mode once, that might not be nothing to go with. But from what I've heard, it's got multiple gameplay endings. So, and then I think it's different depending on like if you go from easy to hard or medium. So like I guess like it's so many variations on the ending. And if you like me, you like anime and you like seeing like good story modes like Mass Effect or Elder. I want to say Elder Scroll. Like a uh, Bioshock, this might be the game for you, especially if like you've been playing them but first person shooters and you want to get something new in your game library that isn't like stupid or fucking uh, is something that deals with real life issues or whatever. It was kind of hard doing commentary over this because I forgot that it stops a lot, so I'm just having to find like random topics and everything. Should have put some music in the background, but. I guess high size 2020. I want to try to knock this one out and not really knock it out, but fucking bring something, bring, bring this cast and Nemo because it was, it was, well, it was just holy and not like bring in. Well, there's nothing for it to lag with, but like it's just like bring. I was, I'm fucking excited for this game before it comes out. I'm kind of thinking about doing game fly, but um, I think I might want to try to own this one. This seems like. This might be like one of those ones you pick up, you buy, and then like it's so much to do in the game that you wanna, you're gonna wanna have the game for life instead of a like rent. Hold up, what the fuck? Yeah, it, it, the game, the controls are kind of like touch sensitive, and like uh, if you move a certain way too much, the guy's gonna like fall and die. Yeah, I think I fucked up right here. I was like, oh shit, yeah, that's not how that shit's supposed to go off. Well, I was just supposed to move that one block over one inch, and so I just corrected the mistake. We got, uh, the gameplay gives you a lot of chances to like redeem yourself, so no, don't worry about failing for this first puzzle. And I was like, well, this right here, I already knew I just had to climb up and get up. I should have just fast forward through all this stuff right here. Uh, yeah, I probably should, uh, probably should just skip a lot of this right here because this is just like basic kitty stuff when you're playing the game. It's just like if you have some sense, you can basically make the puzzle the puzzles out. It's too well. I've, I've seen like in the harder modes, like when they the blocks just like fall every five seconds. That's when it's gonna get like challenging and everything. But for right now. Damn, I should I should have just moved past this one. This god damn, come on. Damn, I forgot. I keep forgetting about these parts where they stop and stuff. I, oh, so frustrating. I know it's like frustrating for you guys right now, but it's more frustrating for me because I should have just like skipped ahead. And yeah, you know, this. Okay, I'm, you know, I'm trying to figure out like how do I get this right here. I forgot that like they said you can push blocks over and they'll stick and they'll stay. I'm, I'm like, what the fuck? Now I, I just remember, I was like, fuck it, let me see if I can push this block over. No, no, I didn't. What the? When did I finally figure this shit out that I, I could push the block over and, and do the stuff? Because I'm trying to, I, I'm trying to move these blocks. I'm like, why won't, why won't the brown one move and I can't, I'm trying to push it back. And I'm like, okay, okay, I think this is the part. I'm like, okay, that works. Okay. Oh, like I said, the controls are very touch sensitive. Uh, Okay, it's coming up to the anime type stuff. I'm going to let it play, so I'll be back, guys, with the rest of the gameplay commentary. Thank you. I'm going to just let it play out. I'm going to run the story mode or whatever. Uh, sure. 
You know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything all right? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning. <laughs> So, are you getting anything extra for this? For what? For all this overtime you're doing. Oh, uh, not this time. This time? Do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but... So you don't get anything? <sighs> mm. uh. Here, two sugars. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had a dream where you died? You mean like, where you're in danger? No, no, where you actually die. You're being killed or something. No, I usually do the killing in my dreams. <laughs> well, that sounds like you. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Hey, how many years have we been together? Huh? Hmm. How many years? I'm asking you. It's just... my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Oh. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but... Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but... I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? I suppose... And in other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men. Cause of death is unknown, and while police are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not been ruled hey, out. Hey, change it! The Chief match is on! Coming! Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it, though. totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? And what do you think? So, who are you betting on? Come on, pick one. Are you kidding? Women's wrestling? What I know. Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Uh, you think so too? What else could it mean? I've known you since we were kids, but wow, you. Married, huh? Hey, nothing's set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. Are you? Yeah, that's what she said. Her job's always most important to her. I mean, you know she's always been the ambitious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Besides... You're single, too. Hey, I'm still looking for my soulmate. <laughs> I'm not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. What if you never meet your soulmate? Then I'll never get married. So what? That sounds just like you, Chief. Anyway, did you hear about Paul? He's dead. Paul? Wait, that Paul? He's dead? Yeah. I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. It's a complete shock. What happened to him? An accident? I don't know. Apparently his mother just found him dead in his room this morning. This morning? Wait, you mean... Yeah. The mystery death on the news? That was him. Holy shit! No way! Maybe Will will wind up dead tomorrow, too. Shut the hell up. Man, I hate the news. They're always trying to push their agenda for ratings. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. <laughs> well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning, I pissed the bed for the first time since grade school. What? Oh, that's messed up, man. <laughs> I had a really scary dream. 
but I don't remember what it was about. Oh, man. How old are you? 32. I know that. You know, I don't think I need to hear this. Shut up. I was really fucking scared, all right? Oh, where you guys going? Stick around. I, I don't want to go home just yet. So, why don't you have Catherine meet you here? No, I just saw her today. Besides, she'd get mad at me if I told her. Ah, jeez. What does she see in this poor fool? Sorry, but I gotta be in early tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? All right. Take care, Vince. See you later. text messages and save. You can even reply to some messages. Be sure to read them when they come. change Vincent's inner ideas, a meter will be shown. Vincent's words and actions will affect the story. Remember it. Hey, how many years have we been together? Marriage, huh? Figured this would happen eventually, but just change jobs. I don't want to give her trouble.
Please, go ahead. What up? I'm back. Get some. Um, back to the gameplay. I didn't really want to talk over. Like I said, I didn't want to talk over fucking uh, voice over because the game has excellent fucking voice acting. And I um, didn't want to fucking ruin the story or anything for people who might not want to play a demo but are thinking about picking up the game or whatever. So, this is the second puzzle Prison of Despair. And um, it's not that hard. It's. It, this right here can be kind of hard. Uh, this first half, uh, I got to the checkpoint. I died like after the checkpoint, I died like four times, and I cut it out. So you're gonna see like the, after the checkpoint, you're gonna see like how I saw the puzzle, and uh, I think that monster is supposed to represent his girlfriend Catherine, like uh, trying to cling him or something. Uh, that's what I think because like when in the gameplay he says her voice and it sounds just like her and has her nails and so I, uh, I think this oh uh, fuck that right here I think this is gonna be like one of those really interesting games like that comes around like Ico or uh, Shadow of the Colossus or uh, what's another game that's sort of like out there like that people that people like and, uh, I can't even think of any, but yeah, this this might be a contender for like game of the year. Well, not game of the year, but um, puzzle game of the year. I think I think that's what what is, what is placed under. I think it's placed under puzzle of the year. Or, I don't know if it's an RPG. I know it's, it might be sort of like a dating sim, but I think I think what it's mostly going for is like a puzzle type gameplay. So yeah, this this is oh fucked up again. This is definitely gonna be like one of those weird games that you know if you're t fucked up right here again like i said the controls in this game was just like mad fucking touch sensitive like you don't do it a certain way or like fuck it up or like do or like uh uh fucking up the words but like i can see how this game is gonna be like really hard on the difficulty like when you have to like go fast paced and like if you don't Oh uh, yeah, see how I cut it out right there. That's uh, this is how I saw the gameplay right here. So yeah, like so like when you're going fast, how you could fuck yourself up out of a spot or a jam. But yeah, Catherine, it's gonna be one of the games I pick up. Uh, I'm gonna pick this up. I know NCAA came out like what, a couple of days ago, but I'm gonna pick up these two games at the same time. Pick up Catherine and uh. NCAA at the same time, so if you guys think uh, you want me to do like a let's play on Catherine, I'm gonna pick up some other games that I might do a let's play. Oh, you don't, you know, if, or if you don't want to see a let's play on my channel, just let me know. You no, know? it's it's all about you guys. If you guys want to see, if you guys don't want to see, it. you guys want to just keep seeing first person shooters or like shooters. I think I'm gonna, I might get a third person. I don't know what decent third person shooter is right now out in the market for for. Uh, it's about 360. I know somebody gonna say like Gears, but I fucking hate Gears of War 2. I was kind of good at it, but the game was based on hosts and everything, and I hate that shit. Hopefully, Gears of War 3 is gonna be a lot, of, a little bit better, and like not be based on in the promotion and fucking things like that. The dedicated server, hopefully, is good, and uh, that's the end of the gameplay. Hopefully, you enjoyed the demo. Hopefully, you guys can pick this up or at least play the demo. And I'm gonna just let it play out. This is OJ, this is about me, I'm out. Shia. Is it gone? I'm safe, right? Yeah! Escape 
from the prison of despair. Uh-huh. <gasps> 